Alchemist Radio. All right, let's go. Now that we've created our smart contract with Manifold and pasted our contract address in Fjord, we now have to upload our assets and metadata to IPFS to store our files. For that, we're going to use pinata.cloud. The link is in the description below. If we click on Pinata's pricing link, you'll find that we get a maximum of 100 files up to 1G of storage for free, which is enough for us to experiment with. So click get started, sign up, and we're ready to upload some art. I'm on my desktop. I'm making a folder called Images Art Drop. For this tutorial, I'm going to start with 10 GIFs. If you are following along, you can use JPEGs, PNGs, MP3s, movie files, and even HTML pages. I'm going to place these GIFs into my Images Art Drop folder. But note that the titles for my GIFs are numbered as 01.gif, 02.gif, and so on. If you're dropping JPEGs, your titles should be 01.jpg, 02.jpg, 03.jpg, and so on. We are not naming our artwork here because all that information will be filled out in JSON files in a separate folder. Okay, let's go back to Piñata and upload our images folder. I'm going to name this image art drop. Click upload. After this is done processing, Pinata is going to give us a collection ID or CID. See this long hash here? This is our collection ID that we need to copy and paste into our JSON files. And if you click on our images art drop link, it'll take us to a page where we can see all of our art. I'll click on the 01.gif file, and here is our spinning miss logo now stored in IPFS. So let's go back to the Pinata page and copy the images art drop CID hash by clicking on the clipboard icon. Now I'm going back to my desktop and I'm creating another folder with the title JSON Images Art Drop. I have this JSON template file, which you'll find in the description below. This may look intimidating if you've never worked with JSON files before, but it's easy. We're going to replace a lot of this text with our own and do some copy and pasting. You may find a lot of tutorials out there that will automate this process with Python and such, but I find that if you manually play around with this in the beginning of your journey, you'll visually see and learn what's happening for yourself and you'll be in a great position to troubleshoot and easily add complexity to your projects in the future. Uh, so I'm using text edit on a Mac, but you can use Sublime Text or whatever code text editor you want. What we're going to do is edit this file to name and describe our art, which is going to be our metadata. Now copy and paste this JSON text into your code text editor. And now I'm going to edit this JSON file so I can describe each GIF in my images art drop folder. Let's start with our first GIF. In the JSON file next to name, I'm going to replace this placeholder XXXX text with a name of my GIF. Just make sure you keep the quote marks. I'm going to name this Mist Windmill. This is where and how the name of our GIF drop will show up in OpenSea. Next, next for description, I'm going to replace this placeholder text to describe this GIF as Alchemist Coin Logo Continuously Spinning in Search of the Philosopher's Stone. And this is how the description of this GIF drop will show up in OpenSea. Now for image, I'm replacing this placeholder text and I'm going to paste from my clipboard the collection ID, the CID of our image art drop folder from Pinata. Here, after the IPFS colon slash slash, but now I'm going to add a slash 01.gif, 
which is the title of our first drop. And be sure to include the comma. Congratulations, we just wrote metadata describing the name, description, and the hash identification from Pinata of our image. Next, attributes is where we can add all kinds of traits, rarity, and deeper meaning to our NFT. Here's a whole list from OpenSea, but for now, let's keep our NFT traits simple. The link to this documentation is in the description below and we'll go through it in another tutorial. Under trait type, we can replace any text placeholder in marked XXX with our own descriptions. Just replace everything between the quotation marks and leave the comma separators when you see them. You can add many traits to your NFT. For example, the first trait type I'm typing in is background and the value is going to be black. But you can really type in anything you want. Trait type is like a main top level label and the value describes what is under that label. This is how it will appear in OpenSea. OpenSea automatically figures out number percentages based on what's minted so far. Cool, right? For the second trait type, I'm creating a label GIF and its value is Alchemist logo. Now it's time to save this file, but you have to save it as a number. Since this is our first JSON file in our JSON folder, let's save it as number one. I found that you don't need to add a .json extension to this file. This will work fine. And don't start from zero, start from the number one. Pinata will recognize this as a JSON file. So now we need to do the same thing for each GIF in our images art drop folder. I'm going to duplicate this JSON file and make nine more copies. For each copy, I'm going to rename them as numbers ascending in sequence going up to 10. Now that we have 10 JSON files numbered one through 10, I'm going to open and edit our second JSON file to describe our second GIF. Here we have our number two JSON file open and I'm going to replace the name. I'm naming this Radio Art Curators. For description, I'm going to replace this with artists, collectors, DJs, come chill and Come chill, learn, and grow with us. Join us live in our Discord Fridays 21 UTC. Now under image, we already have the CID of our images folder, but this is important. Don't forget to change this from 01.gif to 02.gif and leave the quote mark and comma as is. Under attributes, let's add four traits for this GIF. For the first one, I'm replacing this trait type to label it GIF, and now I'm going to replace this to describe this trait as Alchemist Radio. For the second trait, I'm going to label it Artist, and I'm going to shout out one of our radio hosts and artists to Buckchuck. So if we want to add more traits, all we have to do is add a comma here and copy everything between the curly brackets so um, I'm going to shout out a few more artists in, in our community. Polly, copy and paste this. And now I'm going to shout out Alchemist Holland. The only thing we need to remember is that whatever is the last trait type in our attributes section, just remove the comma here. This is how it will show up in OpenSea. Okay, that's it. We've written metadata for our second piece of art. Save it. I'm going to open the third one and replace all the info to match our third GIF. I think you get it at this point. It's pretty easy. For the third, I'm dropping this fan art medley of the Crucible NFT. You should check it out on OpenSea. It is mind-blowing tech. The link is in the description below. For the fourth, I'm dropping Room 33, which is an art gallery coming soon with NFTs from Carl Schulschenk's Afro-Futuristic World Hong Kongo. Keep an eye out for that. 
For the fifth, I'm dropping a Hell House promo from Feldzine. Keep an eye out for a video game coming soon from this project. For the sixth drop, it's the Proof of Alchemy alumni promo art. For everyone that contributed last year in 2022, follow at Proof of Alchemy on Twitter to win Mist. We hold bi-monthly contests and fun challenges. The seventh drop is the latest incubated product from Alchemist Coin, Chaos Labs. The eighth is our Desert Island Mist segment in Alchemist Radio Discord, where we get to know a community member one week at a time by asking them what their favorite music is, name one book, one luxury item, what would you bring on a Desert Island Mist? And then collect the poor app. We meet every Friday at 21 U- UTC. The ninth is promo art to follow Fjord NFTs on Twitter. Did you check out the Twitter spaces with Mazer Gaming and County Capital? This was the POAP. And finally, the tent is a promo for game nights in Discord with the Joint Chief DJ. You can play Smash Cards and Poker. The winner wins missed tokens. Congratulations, we now have 10 JSON files that match our 10 art gifts. Now I'm going to upload this JSON folder to Pinata and name it JSON Images Art Drop. Click Upload. Now you'll see that we have two folders in our Pinata account. The Images Art Drop folder and the JSON folder. If I click on the JSON Images Art Drop title, you can see our 10 JSON files. And if I click on the first one, you'll see the metadata we have written to describe our first GIF. So on our Pinata page, I'm going to copy the CID of the JSON folder, not the images folder. Copy the JSON CID hash by clicking on the clipboard icon. Now that the JSON CID is in our clipboard, let's go back to Fjord and we're ready to fill out this NFT metadata base URI field. Type IPFS colon slash slash, paste in the JSON CID from our clipboard, and then add a slash at the end. Note that this is not a HTML link, it's a URI, Uniform Resource Identifier of our JSON metadata. And don't forget to add the slash. And that's it. We have the metadata stored on Pinata, which points to and describes where our images or assets are stored, which is all distributed on IPFS thanks to Pinata. Also, our smart contract is connected to Fjord, waiting to dispense all the gifts as NFTs. Cool. Next, we're going to add some images on Fjord, put up our wheat as collateral to drop our NFTs. I'll see you there.